What's up everyone? Today we're back in the beautiful region of the Caribbean once again. For those of you that were missing our beach vlogs after spending some time in the mountains in Bolivia, Peru and Chile. And we've come back to the Dominican Republic, a country that we came to two years ago. And we've come to Punta Cana, the most famous place in the Dominican Republic. We've never been to Punta Cana before though even though it is the most famous place. We spent a month here around two years ago in the Dominican Republic. Look how beautiful this is though. Exactly the kind of beach that you want in the Caribbean, that's for sure. So this is the main beach. I think it's called Bavaro. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Just goes on for miles and miles. And we just arrived here about five minutes ago. So this is all fresh to us. We're staying at this place called The Greek and our room is $55 a night. I'll show it you just down here. So this is us, 706. Just a tiny, simple room really. Has a really nice AC. Super cool at the moment. This is pretty cool that under the beds we can put our bags so they're not in the way. Also a little TV, I didn't even notice that up there. And that's about it really. Oh, and it does include breakfast. Ready for the beach? This is definitely what you want to see in your first moments in the Caribbean. Yeah, I miss the ocean like this and just the, the vibe, like the palm trees. The music. It's, yeah, it's just very nice place. Yeah, it seems like there's loads of beach bars and restaurants. We're actually looking for a place to eat now. We haven't had lunch yet and it's around 2 p.m., maybe even 3 p.m. So we're looking for a, a nice spot. Yeah, this really is perfect though. Amazing beach. Also absolutely perfect weather, because when we were checking the forecast, it was just showing rainstorms. <laughs> and this definitely ain't no rainstorm. Barely any clouds right now. Perfect. Before we continue exploring Punta Cana, we're going to talk about our recommended VPN provider, Surfshark, who now have a special holiday deal where you can get up to six months for free. If you are a digital nomad or a traveler like us, you know how risky it can be to frequently use public Wi-Fi. However, Surfshark allows us to have a private connection, keeping our personal information and sensitive data safe from potential hackers. Surfshark also allows us to avoid online restrictions when visiting internet restricted places. For example, when we traveled to Turkey last year, we could only access some online booking platforms by using a VPN, so Surfshark saved us a lot of headaches when booking accommodations. Besides this, Surfshark also gives you access to all Netflix libraries. Depending on the country that we are, we have access to limited series and films on Netflix, but with Surfshark, we can set our devices to a different location and that way we can watch any series or films that we want. With just one single account, you can connect to unlimited devices, which means you can use it to keep your family safe online too. Click on the link in the video description, which has the discount code Jumping Places to get up to six months for free. And that also includes a 30 day money back guarantee policy. So it couldn't inside of it. It seemed like the places on the beach were kind of pricey. 
although they'll have really nice views. I think we'll try and find like a cheaper local place. Seems pretty quiet around here, the area that we're in. So I don't think we're staying right near the main center. So I think that's why it's kind of quiet, the roads, not much going on. We might walk to the main part later on though, today. So this is the place that we're going for. It's called Comadritas Comida Criola y Mas. Not really super local looking. Actually looks a bit fancy on the inside. Oh, check the fish out. So the food is looking pretty good. We got loads of fried plantains. That's one thing that we miss a lot about the Caribbean. When we leave here, they always have really good fried plantains. Got some avocados there. And I got like a, a stew chicken. What's it called again in Spanish? Pollo guisado. Yeah, I think it's a famous uh, dish from Dominican Republic. I remember, I think you had the last time. So mine's around 600 pesos. And Carol got the red snapper. Big red snapper. Yeah, 1,000. I think in Jamaica it was the red snapper that they served a lot. Yeah, I ate a lot over there. It was really good too. Yeah, I guess it's the common fish that you can catch in the Caribbean. Yeah, this chicken is absolutely amazing, the sauce. It's like mildly spicy, this one. I think depending on which place you go, it can be spicier. Almost reminds me of like a Indian food taste, the, the, the sauce on it, so really good. Like a curry. Yeah, it's like a curry. I think it is a curry, like a chicken curry. back at the beach once again just trying to find a spot where we can stay I think the majority of these places belong to the resorts and I'm not quite sure if we're allowed to stay around here some places in the Caribbean if there's a resort it's like private for them right yeah I think they will ask you to leave that's how it's been in other countries yeah. maybe it's not the same here not quite sure I mean there's some areas like this here that's pretty empty. Yeah, maybe we can go around here. Although, maybe it is a resort too, I can't tell. There's some beds. So I think this area should be okay because there's just like a little sand hill. Can't really see any sun beds or anything around. I think we're good here. Yeah, so all of a sudden the water's become really choppy, <laughs> really wavy. One thing that we just realized is that there's no sargassum, which is a problem in like the Caribbean region, the really thick, stinky seaweed. I haven't seen any at all, so I guess they're not having it right now. So that's a real good sign. We haven't seen any area and we walked about 20 minutes along the coast. So that was actually the main reason that we went to Bahia Hebe the last time we were here in the Dominican Republic because at that time they had the sargassum issue here. I checked like recent photos at the time and the beach was horrible so that's why we chose that region because over there never really gets it I don't think. So at least they don't have it here this time. So we're gonna walk to the main central area now. It is busy, but I think just cause the beach is so big and everything's spread out, 
you don't really feel it that much but there are a lot of people here it is the peak season now it's actually the thanksgiving holiday so probably one of the busiest periods but you'll you'll be seeing this video i think like a week later since it takes a while to edit so there's loads of areas like this where there's pretty much just no people around got it all to yourself and then you'll just come across like a hotel or a beach club and there's hundreds all of a sudden so we're planning on walking along that pier there but it belongs to this resort so yeah if you're not staying in the resort you're not allowed i said that some of the resorts have hundreds of people i think this one has thousands massive resort So we came to this area here that seemed to be like the central area where we're staying but there's not much going on is there? No, we were expecting it to be more lively but maybe it's because everybody stay at the, the resort so people are not walking around. Yeah I think that's it. I mean we've been to other places like that like in uh, Jamaica our last trip in the Caribbean and everyone just stays in the resort so yeah these areas with like stores and stuff all empty. No one really walking around. Yeah, so maybe more at night it gets busier because there's like these bars here. I guess at night time. Check all the constructions going on here. Mega constructions everywhere. The future hotels. Yeah, so I guess that's what it's gonna look like. Some crazy futuristic looking hotels. Hotel overload. Yeah, so even though the beach was awesome and very beautiful, it does kind of have a artificial vibe to it, the place, at least where we're seeing so far. Like this road here, it's not exactly like a nice road to walk down. Just these big resort walls everywhere. Not really feeling like a, a local vibe. Some places that we went on our last trip in the north, like Samana, Las Terrenas, there was nice because it was more like local areas, local houses, and then a few resorts, small resorts, but yeah, Punta Cana just seems like massive resorts everywhere. rented a car now it's forty dollars for the day it's a kia morning just a small little car because we're not going to be doing any off-road things i think and we're heading to a beach called macau beach which is around 25 minutes away heading up north and many people consider this to be the best beach in punta cana it's supposed to be really beautiful i don't think we rented a car last time we were in the dominican republic no we didn't we were only taking like our taxis or the public transportation. Those little vans. Yeah, guaguas. <laughs> yeah, so the first time driving. Roads all seem great so far. was a nice and easy drive this is a public parking spot that's on Google Maps only one other car though and they have this nice walking deck looks like a mangrove area yeah, pretty cool 
So we mainly rented the car because we wanted it to come to this beach and we're also planning to go to a cenote but we're so wiped out at the beginning of this video Carol mentioned that she was tired we missed our connection flight to come here so it was supposed to take seven hours to come from Rio to the Dominican Republic yes but it took us 30 hours 30 and we couldn't sleep because the flight was like 2 a.m. And when you said we missed the, the connection, uh, it wasn't our fault. It was the airlines. Yeah, yeah the airline just uh, screwed up, basically. With the first flight. Yeah, so it was uh, kind of a nightmare. The first time that we missed the flight, so it wasn't fun at all. Yeah, and the annoying thing was that we missed the connection flight in Lima. And then they put us in a hotel that was miles away. It was like 50 minutes away from the, from the airport. Usually if things like that happens, they put you up at the airport hotels, right? There was a bunch of airport hotels, but they didn't do that. And then the new flight that they booked was at 2 a.m. So which meant we didn't sleep, right? A 2 a.m. flight. And even worse, it wasn't even a direct flight from Lima, which our original one was. It was two flights. So at 2 a.m. we had to go to Bogota in Colombia, and then we had to come here to Punta Cana. And then we arrived pretty much at the point where we started filming this video, but yeah, we just wiped out. Thank you, Latam. <laughs> That's the airline, Latam. Yeah. Yeah, it was a real bad experience. Our worst flight experience. But at least we're here, eh? We will be checking out Cenotes anyway, on other days. Buen dia, buen dia. Hola. Buen dia. Hablo en español. Un poquito. So we've got a bunch of cool little beach shacks around here places you can eat loads of eating areas too one of the guys was already approaching us telling us to stay at his place and that it's uh, safe stuff like that but I think we're just gonna walk around by ourselves we're not gonna hang around this part so it certainly looks like a, a really nice beach not really the same white sand as the one in Punta Cana I don't think the water is as turquoise clear too but it's more like a, a local vibe. Okay. And even the village area that we passed before was nice. It's more like what we usually see in the Caribbean, the colorful houses. And I had no idea that it's a surf beach. You can do surfing here. People are surfing and bodyboarding. Might actually try and do that in the Dominican Republic when I get my energy back. We haven't tried surfing in ages now. Yeah. But it's a very cool experience. We tried in Mexico and Portugal. And like you said, maybe we can try here. No, uh, vamos caminar. So all these are uh, taxi boats, it says on the side. I guess you can get a taxi boat here to Punta Cana and not a car if you want. One of the cool things about this beach though is the cliffs here. On the pictures we actually saw that there's sometimes a beach here. We were looking forward to that but I guess it's only at low tide called Playa Escondida where you'd have the cliffs right next to you. But yeah, it's way too high tide right now. Ah, oh, real nice though. It reminds me of the beaches that we explored in like the north last time, Samana. Yeah, this is a really beautiful beach and I understand why people like this one so much and say it's the best one in Punta Cana. And it's also very quiet and laid back, so I approve it. Yeah, I think on this one, there seems to be like one resort there and then the rest is pretty much natural.
So while you're here in Punta Cana, you'll obviously be offered to do many different excursions. One of the main ones is Isla Saona, which is an island south of here. And we visited there last time from Bayahibi. Definitely recommend it. The weather was pretty bad when we went, it was raining, but even so it was very beautiful. And then you can do other things like the day trip to the capital, Santo Domingo which we also visited last time. That's where we, we arrived last time. So yeah, I think all those are worth it and good options of things to do if you're visiting here. And another good thing to mention is the transport. So you saw that we got the rental car now, but there are Ubers here. So we got an Uber from the airport to Bavaro. As we were leaving the airport, obviously a lot of taxi drivers approached us and said it was $35. I think they have a fixed price but on the Uber it was only $20 and they were trying to tell us that the Uber wouldn't accept the ride that you're not able to get the Uber but within one minute we were already in the Uber and that's quite a lot cheaper $20 instead of $35 and we also got a SIM card for Carol yeah we we got a Claro one uh, it's valid for five days and then I will have to top up put more money and top up and for the five days one and the SIM card, I paid 350 uh, Dominican pesos. And when I was reading the reviews of the store, many people were saying that they got scammed because they paid more than they were supposed to pay. And also, I think uh, the, the SIM card only lasted for a few days, so that can happen. Luckily, it hasn't happened to me and I paid the, the right amount. I'm not sure if it's because I'm a Latina and I was speaking Spanish. But you also showed them the package on the website. Yeah. So but, they knew that you knew the price. Yeah, so like maybe that helped as well. Yeah, so the store there, it was actually an official Claro one. But all the reviews were just from people saying they got scammed. Even the restaurants here, we were checking it out to see if we were going to eat here. And there's so many reviews of people saying that they forgot to ask the price of the meals. And then the bill came like 150 US dollars just for two dishes. And this is like a super local place. So there's no way that like a, a chicken dish or a fish dish is going to be that kind of price. So yeah, you do have to kind of watch out here and yeah, just ask beforehand and try and make them know that you know the prices of things, stuff like that. So we're gonna be heading out of here now. Probably spent about two hours here. At one point, some massive groups appeared here, but they seem to have already gone like an hour later. So I don't know if there's some tours that they have a stop here included. Seems to be that way, because now it's pretty empty once again. But yeah, definitely a really nice beach to come to. Really, really beautiful. All the Dominican Republic is beautiful from what we've seen on these two trips. So in the next video, we're gonna be staying in one of the all-inclusive resorts here in Punta Cana, since that's the main thing to do here. 
Usually when we come to this region, we spend a few days in all-inclusive resorts and after our nightmare flight, that's definitely going to be nice just to relax in a resort. And I think that will be the only time we're going to stay in all-inclusive. But we're going to be doing other things around the Dominican Republic too. So if you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you in the next one.